my most reliable car got me stranded. Recently, I bought a 1990 Mazda Miata, and the keys that are in the Miata get stuck very frequently, so I needed to go to a locksmith to make a new key. And because I didn't have the key, obviously the car doesn't run, so I took my daily driver, and that's when everything went wrong. Well, I never thought this would happen. I'm literally trying to get keys for the Miata. When I hit the gas, it seems like it's going nowhere. I'm not sure what's going on. Five minutes later, I let the car cool off. I was able to take the car down the block, but that was the farthest it could reach. I was able to make it to the locksmith. However, the locksmith that I gave the keys to, he wasn't able to make the keys, so I had to find someone else to make the keys for me. Well guys, we did it again. I'm at the second time. It's kind of left me stranded. I think the fuel pump is going out on it. And uh, I think that's why there's no power and I don't think it's giving in enough fuel or pumping enough fuel to the engine. And that's why when I hit the gas, it's just, it's just slow. It's like slower than usual. I know this damn thing is slow, but it's slower than usual. So I'm gonna try to make it home in time because they still need to get the lock done for the Miata. And uh, I can't get that done if I can't have this car driving. This was supposed to be my reliable car. Civic is getting harder to drive. I'm literally 15 minutes out from home. What the hell? This is supposed to be my most reliable car, and it's not anymore. I'm definitely completely stranded. I'm trying to make over this bridge right here. Unfortunately, this car doesn't even have enough power to go over the bridge, which is kind of sad. I still have my keys that I need to make for the Miata. I told the Papa Lock dude, if you can meet me on the highway, I'll just pay the full amount. He comes here, so supposedly he's coming here right now to make the keys for me while I'm stranded here on the highway. Oh, oh Jesus. Better than me uh, being stranded at the airport and then trying to figure this all out, so. Then another 10, 20 minutes down the street, the Papa Lock dude finally came through. So, he's getting my key made right now for the Miata. However, how am I gonna get home to the Miata is one other thing just probably just call a tow guy big shout out to the locksmith he literally drove on the highway just to get my key made in his sprinter van so big shout out to him and he also gave me a discount because he saw my car was broken oh jesus at this point, I didn't even know what to feel. Usually this Honda never left me stranded. It broke a couple times on me, but it was able to make it home. But this is the first time that it was never able to make it home. At least the hatch looks good on the tow truck, am I right? <laughs> Well guys, we are back home with two cars that <laughs> don't even work right now. The Civic was supposed to be the most reliable one, but I hope it's the fuel pump that went out. The initial lock is just completely toast. It's just so hard to take out the key. I had to get another one made, but unfortunately that wasn't the problem. So I just bought a new cylinder. Until that comes in, we're gonna pause on the Miata. Hybrid Racing sent out one of their fuel pumps and I'm hoping this is the key problem to this Civic. But also as well, when we upgrade this fuel pump, this actually is a little bigger. Crossing my fingers, it's hopefully the fuel pump. Let's see. Offers E85 compatible and meth. So if you wanna go crazy, we can go crazy with this. The fuel pump is located under the seat. So we're gonna take off the seat first. I got this line and this line out. So now all we need to do is just get all those bolts that are surrounding this whole thing. Everything always has a break. I right, guys, swear to God. <laughs> Ooh, it smells very strong. Oh God. Now we got the old fuel pump out. Now let's try to put in the new one. <laughs> It's not coming off. Oh, okay. Before I put on the new fuel pump, I wanna make sure this is clean so that way I don't get any dirt in my gas. Just like that, it's nice and clean. It comes with everything you need, even this wiring harness, um, which is not needed if your wiring is not messed up. 
right here. It still is brand new. I even cleaned off the inside of this harness. It's still a plug and play kit, but it's there if you need it. Next, we got our filter. The only thing we need to do, if you see closely, there is a nipple right here. Check this out. They even put in a nice little package right here. The clip is back in its place and this whole unit is ready to go. Too bad that I cleaned this and we won't see it, but I just cleaned it just in case if it ruined anything along with it. Now we're gonna prime this and uh, see if we could, uh, this actually works, hopefully. Oh, that sounds different. <laughs> here we go when we prime it. All right, here we go, moment of truth. <laughs> Starts right up. Sounds pretty normal for the most part. I'm just hoping it could drive and I'm hoping the fuel pump is issue. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's kind of struggling on idle. Oh no, it's about to die. I ordered a fuel pump anyways, just to boost the Civic and I wonder what it could be. And it seems like it's just in time. At this point, I have no idea what's wrong with the Civic and I'm kind of lost. So comment down below what I should do. What should I check? Maybe I missed a couple things, but I'm really honestly lost and that's why I'm posting this YouTube video. Comment any suggestions down below to see if anything would help and more content for the Miata coming soon. Well, once I get that running.